Hi everyone, it's Vanessa. Welcome to day 11 of Vlogmas. In this video, I wanted to show you all of the books that I'm thinking of bringing with me to Florida. If you're watching this starting on Wednesday the 11th, we are already on our way to Florida. It's gonna be a nice two days of driving probably. I'm going to be off from work for about two and a half weeks and therefore I need to bring all the reading material possible to satisfy any mood I could possibly have. So I'm here to show you my stack of books that's right behind me here of all the possibilities I'm taking with me to Florida and then I'll talk a little bit about um, the audiobooks that I either have on hold or have already checked out that I'm hoping to get to while I'm in Florida. Some of these are some of the same things that I had out from Nonfiction November just because I haven't gotten to them yet. I've returned some of my Nonfiction November things that I'm not interested in anymore um, but I've kept some that I'm still wanting to read and hopefully I can read them in December with all this free time that I have. I'll blow kind of quickly through some of the ones you've already seen including The Truffle Underground, also see Jane Wynn so I can read about Women Candidates, No Visible Bruises, which is about domestic violence. I really want to get to this one this month. And then two more that were also out from Nonfiction November include Dead Blondes and Bad Mothers. I've gotten to page 100 of this and I've kind of put it down last week, but we'll see if I want to read this in the car. It's pretty easy to read once you get going. It's just not every example is interesting to me, so I lose a little steam of wanting to pick it up. The other one is The Battle for Room 314, one about education, and I think that's my whole stack from Nonfiction November. Now let's talk about the rest of them. We have a middle grade book. This is Some Places More Than Others. I don't know if I've mentioned this one. I feel like I've had it out for a while from the library. Sadly, it's not available on audiobook that I've seen anywhere, so I have to actually read it, but it's pretty short and it's Renee Watson. I really like the way that she writes, and this one's supposed to take place in Harlem. So this one would be a good one in the car, something that I could finish pretty quickly, probably. Also, I have Old Souls, which is a graphic novel. From my understanding, it's kind of darker. It says it's a tale of addiction, obsession, and, and the things we do for family. He starts basically having visions of other people. They're trying to relive their former lives and he's supposed to figure out what is going on with that. I've kind of heard mixed things about this. Some people really like it and some people don't like it and I want to see what I think. The art style inside is very dark and kind of blue greenish. I want to read My Time Among the Whites. It's a short one as well which I think would be good for this trip. I am 26 pages into it but whenever I read it I read like a lot of pages at once. Um, I've only picked it up like a couple times though but hopefully I can get this one done in December. I also have Antisocial, Online Extremists, Techno Utopians, and the Hijacking of the American Conversation. It's supposed to look at trolls and how they have really hijacked the internet and like changed the way we think about politics and our society in general. I started reading a couple pages, but the text is the tiniest ever and there's no audiobook available for it which is not great, um, but I'm hoping that if I start reading it, I just get really into it. But this looks to be real dark, so we'll see. There's two work-related ones, so I'm trying to, you know, develop professionally. So I'm going to try to read The Art of Gathering. This is supposed to be a book about meetings and why meetings matter and what they bring and what you should do in one. I'm going to be holding lots of meetings next year, so I uh, want to be better at them. And the other one that's about work is No Hard Feelings. This is the secret power of embracing emotions at work. Man, there are a lot of emotions at work. I feel like I'm pretty balanced, but I want to read this to kind of give me a better idea of how to talk to my coworkers and how to support them and also how what I say comes across to them. This is really cute inside. It's got lots of little infographics and pictures and little comics. So I really like it what it looks like on the inside and I hope that it makes it pretty easy to read as a result. It's pretty cute and I love that little cover. Finally, the last one that I have on here that's a physical book is called Crafting Meaningful Wedding Rituals, A Practical Guide and it's supposed to give you an idea of wedding rituals that aren't necessarily traditional. There's a lot of things that come with a wedding now that I'm planning one that I'm like, I really don't want to do that. So I'm hoping to read this to get some ideas and to also kind of guide me through how to do all the traditional things that I do want to do. I think this one kind of gives you two sides to look through and again has lots of pictures and ideas inside that are not necessarily just text heavy so it's got lots of little charts and graphs as well 
So that's it for physical books that I have that I want to take with me. Unless I have a couple at work that I haven't noticed and I haven't brought home with me to get ready to be packed away. And then when it comes to audiobooks, let us see. So I have The Wild Robot on hold. That's one of the books that we have to read for my program coming up. And I also have Other Words from Home. I'm about two weeks from that one, so maybe by the time we're coming back. And that one I found out from my NPR concierge recommendations thing. And then on my other app, I have The Mouse and the Motorcycle, which is another one of those that I have to read for my program. And Wish Tree, which as well I have to read from, for that program. These are really short, really nice, like middle grade books or for like third and fourth graders. So I'm hoping these are gonna be nice ones that I can listen to um, in the car. And yeah, that's all that I have planned so far that I want to be reading in the next few weeks as we are traveling to Florida. Hopefully we don't get stuck in a snowstorm, which happened to us going from Texas to Colorado last year. Not in a snowstorm, in like an ice. We had to drive really carefully on the ice. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in my next Vlogmas video. Bye-bye.